Hi guys, myself Yogesh Kotia, and uh, today we'll be you know learning how to build AI assistant uh, using open source you know conversational AI framework which is Rasa. Okay, so in this session uh, we'll check the overview of Rasa. We'll understand the terminology concepts of Rasa, and I also show you some demo about whatever we have built in now. Now I'll jump to Rasa. Okay, so uh, there are n number of platforms out there, uh, you know, to build a chatbot. Okay, so I think if you guys might have heard of Dialogflow uh, from which is which is from Google and you know Bit.ai which is from Facebook and Louis which is from you know uh, Amazon and all. Uh, sorry, Louis from Microsoft and Lex from the Amazon and all. Right. So uh, and there are n number of other platforms and you know which is enterprise and which is for you know, B2C and all. So uh, that's another you know, uh, discussion about the platform. But why Rasa? So Rasa is because Rasa is something which is open source. That's the good part about that. Uh, Rasa, uh, since it is open source, you can you know go ahead and deploy in your own premise, right? So that way uh, you know it runs locally. There won't be any additional you know, for example, if you use Dialogflow or some, or some third-party framework, you have to hit their Platform and get, wait for the response now, right? So since this is uh, you know open source, you can download and you can run locally, and you can deploy anywhere, right? So that's the on-premise deployment, or you can deploy to cloud also if you want, right? So uh, that's the one thing. Second, second beautiful thing is since you know nowadays since data privacy issues are there, uh, you can you know uh, uh, you can own your own data, right? Because it's deployed in your own uh, server and all. So that's the next second thing. Most of the company prefers that, and that's the reason. That is one of the reason that you know Rasa is uh, uh, you know getting popularity and all. So second thing, and third thing is since it's open source, you can customize the things that you want right? because you can see the code, you can change anything which you want to, and something which is not suiting your you know, requirements and all. So and most of the time, most of the third-party platforms will be very will be very limited to give some sort of fun features only and you might not be able to implement some other features which you want which you can do it with the rasa okay so that way you can just hack the rasa code and you know uh, do your own stuff right so that's the uh, overall idea of rasa so uh, i think you know i'll just do uh, you know a couple of minutes back right i told you about uh, uh, three comp main component of the board, right? So that's just the same slide here. So uh, as you can see, Rasa is open source machine learning framework for building the contextual AI assistant and chatbot, right? So uh, just to reiterate, it has a three major component, which is NLU, which you can treat it as a years, you know, of the human. Second is a core, which is dialogue management, which is a brain, which will hold all the context, you know, all the input. And third thing is action, which is a fulfillment uh, module where you can go ahead and you know, uh, uh, call APIs and database, right? So, uh, so just to you know be quick here, uh, when I say what's the weather like tomorrow, uh, it can be a text query or it can be a voice query. It goes to a connector module, which is a uh, you know, so it could be you know, it could be your Telegram channel, it could be Facebook channel, it could be you know, Skype or website, right? So you talk to the bot on that particular channel. So that's a connector module, and it goes, it goes and you know hit the NLU part, which is a year of the uh, you know. Chatbot and uh, it will understand. It will do all sorts of intent extraction, uh, intent classification, and entity extraction. And then it will go and you know go to the dialogue management, where it will you know look out for all the context and you know next possible uh, re response and all. And then once uh, so if required, you can go and hit the backend or database API, and then come back and then you know uh, you know respond back to the user right through output module, which is a mouth. Okay, and uh, it will go back and you know uh, reply in the same platform that you were talking to, right? And it could be again uh, so text also, voice also, right? You can give a query to in form of in form of a text, or you can get the reply in, in form of a voice, right? So it can be anything. So that's the overall you know flow of, uh, conversation, or you know basically how uh, intent or utterance gets understood and you know how it gets converted and you know get a reply, right? So that's the overall flow of the. Uh, Chatbot, but since it is Rasa, we have uh, you know, uh, reference with respect to Rasa here. So, what is NLG? So, NLG is a natural language generation, and uh, uh, so you know most of the times, what 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 happens is uh, there will be a fixed response to all sorts of questions. Okay, so when I say what is the weather tomorrow, uh, uh, there will be a fixed response like it will be dash and 
dash okay so we just you just replace dash with sunny and uh, with other dash with the twenty degree celsius right so uh, that's the same thing that's the one one response for one place it could be other response for the different place right so most of the times uh, the response are fixed you know, fixed as in like the format is fixed you just dynamically just generate the response energy energy is a uh, you know it's like automatically generating the response you do, it's not a fixed you know based on the input it gives you uh, output based on the question right so that's the next language generation it's naturally generating the language right so that's the dif you know, different uh, field to explore but yeah it's i think it most of the time under the chat but uh, conventional ai only so uh, i'll just go ahead to the next slide okay so uh, Cool. So, uh, thank, thank you guys. So, you know, so what I've shown you is the state machine. Uh, you know, so what what happens? What happened till now here is uh, chatbot that you might encounter till now, probably by today or you know, probably uh, around five six years back. Uh, most of the chatbots are flow based. Okay, so you, when you type something, it will give some fixed response. It will, it will only be able to respond to the particular you know buttons that you show over, right? So, basically, it's a fixed. Uh, flow right and uh, the problem with the chatbot is if you're building the state based you know flow automation then it will get complex very soon okay because a chatbot is something which is not which is not which is a mostly fixed or you know defined right if you for example if you take this restaurant chatbot basically even if you talk to this, this current version of the chatbot you might you know you might end up asking anything with respect to finding a restaurant right so since there is no limitation where you you know where uh, hold you to uh, enter a message you can definitely uh, type anything and you know, most of the time it get you know fail right if it is not developed that way so uh, if someone is designing the chatbot through state right so for example uh, just like how we had the conversational diagram right so uh, you know, just to tell you, okay. Okay, where is the scope? Yeah. So basically, if you design like this as a states, most likely it will, it will, you know, gets pretty complex soon, right? So the problem with this is today, if I add some more flow or state, uh, you have to, you know, go back and look at it, and you know. To you know, realign or you know, all this, all this if else you have to do, right? So uh, the thing with a state-based chatbot is, uh, if it is, if it is designed this way, you can see the complexity of the uh, backend, like the overall develop, uh, you know, core or whatever, right? So uh, tomorrow, if someone goes and you know, try to identify what is the issue and if they have to add something here. Uh, I think they will you know, they'll have tough time, right? So uh, these things are not feasible when you build chatbots. So and I don't think this is scalable also. So then how do we you know go ahead and you know uh, build some natural or you know machine learning or AI based chatbot, right? So that's the thing which most of the platform doesn't answer, uh, like Dialogflow and all. And that's the beauty about a Rasa where you know the complete chatbot is a AI based chatbot. So, you might have, you know, so in 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 our past uh, this thing, whenever we talk about uh, you know NLU, right? So NLU is mostly machine learning based. You know, you train your intents, you train a data where you have to extract entities and all. So there is no no rule as of as of you know in the NLU part. It's mostly um, mostly machine learning. You might use keyword to find and you know extract details, but most likely it's a machine learning based. Okay, the the Tough problem about chatbot is the dialogue management or core part where you have to hold the conversation, you know, maintain context and all. Uh, that is something which most of the platform doesn't give you, uh, you know, like doesn't give machine learning based features, right? So, uh, but as a so, so, you know, so when you build a chatbot, uh, you also have to consider NLU, core action, everything in the mind, and then you have to go ahead and build a chatbot. So, if you, if you just decide a platform where Platform is only giving you NLU capability, but not core capability. You'll have a tough time building that states and all, right? So, uh, yeah. So the point here is, uh, even if you build a state-based chatbot, uh, most likely you end up uh, uh, complicating complicating things. Okay. How do we go ahead and you know, build a contextual AI-based bot? Okay. So that's the core, you know, which we'll explore uh, here. Okay, so we'll take the same example here, and uh, you know I've used the 
uh, you know the PPT or the image from the RASA, official RASA uh, uh, you know uh, uh, resource and uh, uh, so he from now onwards uh, will go a bit technical about uh, EI or you know NLP or you know deep learning as, as you can see right so uh, but I'll try to explain everything in a simple way. So when I say what is the weather tomorrow, okay. So what it go, what it what it does, is it will go ahead and go to the uh, NLP section, okay. Where it will do interclassification and it will do it will do entity extraction, okay. So so here intent was classified as a weather, okay. And 98 percent is my uh, you know accuracy of that intent, okay. And uh, uh, entity that, that I'm extracting here is a uh, date, which is tomorrow, okay. Uh, and assuming that. Uh, by default, the chatbot is taking the current location. Okay. If not, then you can ask the location and then you use that as an entity and do the next thing. Okay. But here the simple thing is uh, intent is better, entity is tomorrow. Okay. Date. So uh, 75 uh, 75% is again accuracy of that entity extraction because it's a machine learning based uh, uh, task. Okay. So now what happens is it will go ahead and uh, input that intent and entities to let's say one next model which is core okay so we'll do uh, what we used in the core here right so what happens is uh, uh, i assume you guys might have might have used or are familiar with the uh, with things like you know, lstm or transformer or a bird sort of model uh, which uses the transformer or attention based mechanism right so it's a simple thing so uh, uh, so in, the, in rasa uh, Rasa. So in Rasa, um, uh, the dialogue management part uh, is been done by a LSTM uh, based you know model. Okay. So just to tell you the you know uh, the uh, advantage of LSTM is LSTM model uh, uh, take a sequence as an input and predict the next sequence as output. Right. So very famous example is whenever you write something that's just like an email or a message then you get the next word prediction in your mobile uh, keyboard or you know a keypad or you know in the gmail right so what it what happens is it will take all your past uh, words and all into consideration and based on your you know most likely word next word it will predict and it will suggest you right so uh, it's not a word by word by word basis prediction. It's a sequence based prediction, right? So, uh, so every word will pass it as a sequence, uh, like uh, input, and it will predict the next one, right? So, the more the data that you have, past data, uh, the more you can better you can predict. Right? So, if I say it, like for example, I, okay, so I, like next word could be anything, right? Like when I say I was, uh, then next word most likely can be some other, uh, you know, like. Uh, like most likely it will be very limited vocabulary as when I say I was at so it could be most likely next word could be most likely location right so I was at uh, ABC place right so the more context that you have the more uh, the, the prediction will be more accurate or you know better so why like how it is relevant here is uh, in a conversation when I say I'm looking for the flight uh, most likely uh, my bot will ask is the source and then destination and then uh, date of journey and then it will go ahead and you know, give me uh, results right so that's the flow you know that's a sequence of conversation so what we do is we pass that sequence to input of the transformer and then uh, transformer will use that sequence to predict the next possible right so that's the so that's the oral idea how rasa is solving this dialogue management uh, you know, part right so since uh, all of our conversation is sequence based thing uh, you know so basically uh, same data is being used and passed to a, a transformer which is you know which was lstm before or you can use your own model also and then it will predict the next sequence okay so if you see here uh, current input which is intent and next entity are being passed to a transformer and uh, if you see here next history so it's something like a Till how long you want to see the you know uh, sequence, right? So from current uh, chat to last three chat, I want to see and then predict the next chat. Okay, so that's just the hit history, and uh, that's the current chat, and it will go ahead and will predict the next uh, you know 
possible action. So next possible like, possible action is you know action underscore weather. So just forget about all this thing. Basically, it is going ahead and you know predicting the next action. So the here action is I have to I have to go ahead and you know tell the uh, weather of today you know, tomorrow, right? So uh, that's the next action. Okay. Okay. So. Um, so it will go ahead and it will uh, you know uh, do a couple of more things so my, here my, my what i have to do is i have to go ahead and uh, basically call the weather api to get the uh, you know uh, uh, the weather details right so uh, if it is api call uh, i'll go ahead and do, do the api calling and uh, next thing is yeah sorry so uh, if, if it is not API call, it will go ahead and you know, directly predict some sort of fixed response and it will give it to the uh, uh, end user. If it is API call, it will do API calling and then the fill the uh, dynamic uh, you know, values and it will go ahead and re respond to the user. Okay. Now, okay, what is the context here? So context here is a slot. Okay. So when I say, uh, this is a very simple example, when I say to fly from uh, India to America, uh, and then what will ask the date of journey then i have to remember the past you know source and destination which is uh, indian america right so that is a context for me i'll use that context along with the date and then i'll go ahead and you know, hit the uh, 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 api right so all these variables is my context and which is which we call that thing in the uh, rasa as a slot okay so what happens is it will use that slot also as an input of the transformer, as you see the error, right? And based on the past path slots, current intent entity, it will go ahead and predict the next action, right? So uh, that will keep on going uh, based on your you know, length of conversation or how complex is your uh, you know, uh, conversational uh, design, right? So that's the crux of uh, a core uh, you know, of the RASA. So it, as you can see here, uh, similar to LSTM dialogue prediction paper. So uh, you can refer this paper to you know get more uh, technicality of you know, the core uh, working but this is a very simple example of how it works right so uh, like now i think it must be clear that uh, it basically none of the things uh, here is you know used uh, you know used as a rule or you know some sort of logic right so everything is based on uh, you know like uh, statistics or you know machine learning or kind of thing, right so now everything is depending upon how well the data that you give how well you train configure things and all and that way it's a complete you know ai based chatbot and the more the, more the data that you have the more you can you know uh, make it better and the the better you have understanding of the overall configuration you can you know tune and you know uh, still make it better right so that's the this is a very important part of the core and this is the uh, i think i can say 70% uh, of the understanding of the core you know, basically rasa